Hey, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I have invited you here because I have a statement to to make regarding the current political situation in the country and particularly regarding the developments that we saw yesterday in Nairobi on the security of the deputy president in his residences and I want to make this uh, I want to to make the following uh, remarks or my remarks are as follows one we in the recent one or two months we have seen events utterances comments and some form of exchanges between the president and the deputy president that gives a clear indication that all is not well between the two of them. From the previous uh, bromance between the president and the deputy, we clearly now have a situation where the deputy and the, uh, the deputy president and the president of the Republic of Kenya are not working together. They are reading from different scripts. Their differences are out in the public. That is a fact that we as Kenyans have noted and must live with it. The only request that we are making as people of Kenya is that whereas it is good for the President of the Republic of Kenya and the Deputy President to work in harmony, in love together, Whereas that is the desired uh, working relations, when things have degenerated to where they have gone today, we as, a pub we as a Kenyan public have taken note of this. But we also want to say that the Constitution of Kenya did not anticipate that the president and the deputy must be in love throughout. It is well and good if they walk in love. It is well and good when they are reading from the same script 100%. It is well and good when they can show that brotherhood and bromance that we saw previously. But now that that is broken down, what we are only asking them to do is that the Constitution has provided a mechanism of ensuring that the President and the Deputy President are able to lead the nation irrespective of their differences. They must agree on issues that are of importance to this nation. They must both respect the Constitution and that their relationship is guided by the Constitution. We therefore want to ask them that as much as they are uncomfortable with each other, they now have to resort to work together as provided for by the Constitution. The Constitution clearly provides for the roles of the Deputy President. Key among them are the assignments given to him by the President as his principal assistant. But there are other functions constitutionally given to him by the Constitution and by the law, given to the Deputy President by the Constitution and by the law, that even the President cannot take away from him. From him. One of those examples is that by law, the Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya is the chair of IBEC, Intergovernmental Budget and Economic Council. That is a responsibility given to the Deputy President by law, among many others. That responsibility cannot be taken away from him by the, by the President himself. I want to thank that for the four years we have been able to engage through IBEC under the leadership of the Deputy President. And we are asking the Deputy President continue executing each and every assignment given to you by law 
now that the others that were supposed to be assigned that were assigned to you by the president have been withdrawn that is still okay that work of chairing ibec and many other responsibilities given to him including inspiring the nation building the unity of this nation that is the overriding principle of any leader in our republic from the MCA all the way to members of parliament at their level, the governor and the senator at their level, the deputy president at his level, at the national level, and the president. So whereas many other responsibilities have been taken away from him, we still hide the deputy president that you still have enough on your hand to carry out in this republic. Inspire the nation. Preach peace. Bring leaders together. Bring communities together. Chart an agenda for this nation, including providing and giving your input with regard to government programs across the nation. Where there is need to criticize, where there is need to give uh, an appreciation, where there is need to give contribution. If the forum is not available at the cabinet, there are many other forums that you can speak. In any case, Kenyans have always spoken to the government through open platforms. And therefore, we, we think that the deputy president still has an opportunity and the forum to give his input. We equally ask the president of the Republic of Kenya that it is a fact that now you, do not, you, you no longer work with the deputy on the same page with regard to politics. You have never differed on the building of roads. You have never differed on the need to continue expanding electri electricity connectivity in this country. You have never differed on many other development projects. Clearly, you differed on one particular agenda, and that is the BBI. We should not... All those proponents of the BBI should not be very mad at the deputy president for the outcome in court. In any case, the constitution of the court of appeal, the appointment of judges to the high court, to the court of appeal, to the Supreme Court, is not done by the deputy president of the Republic of Kenya. It is done by the president. And therefore, if you are unhappy with the outcome of the high court and the court of appeal, that anger should not be directed or misdirected at the deputy president, but it should actually be directed to the right people and offices, including the legal advisor of government. The Attorney General of the Republic of Kenya. I am sure the current deputy, the current uh, AG holds the record in terms of the number of cases that the government has lost. So the president clearly should be directing his anger at the officers who may have failed in advising the giving legal advice to the president. The decisions of the judiciary, judiciary in this republic is autonomous. And therefore, any difficulty that somebody has with regard to the rulings at the High Court and the Court of Appeal should be directed to the right offices. But also the Constitution has provided a mechanism for redress. If you are unhappy with the High Court, you go to the Court of Appeal. If you are unhappy with the Court of Appeal, you go to the Supreme Court. I am happy that yesterday we saw a decision by the proponents of BBI to take the matter to the Supreme Court. That is a welcome uh, uh, direction. Let us exhaust the legal framework provided by law. However, we are concerned by some of the occurrences, including the decision to reorganize 
redeploy the security apparatus that has served the residents of the deputy president for the last nine years to the kind of uh, decision that we saw yesterday. We want to say that you may quote the law, you may quote the, 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 the standing orders, you may quote whatever document that you want to quote. But it is, it is said that if it is working, why fix it? For the last nine years, the security apparatus within the presidency has been managed in the manner that has been managed for the last nine years. What is this agency that necessitated the changes that we saw yesterday? We are told it was for purposes of effective delivery. If for nine years it has been okay, what has necessitated the effectiveness today? So clearly, any right-thinking Kenyan would read some mischief in those changes. Clearly, there is some mischief in those changes.